Hello again, everybody. I'm Scott Murray. Welcome to yet another edition of Five Talk Street. Hey, did you know that the month of May is National Youth Traffic Safety Month? And I would bet you all of you probably know a teenager out there who loves his or her cell phone and simply cannot put it down even when they are behind the wheel. NBC5 is certainly committed to helping our youth stay safe during this graduation season and for that matter throughout the entire year. And joining me right now are two gentlemen who know all too well the consequences of distracted driving, speeding and so much more. Robert Early is the president and CEO of JPS Health Network and alongside him is Dr. Robert Stevenson, a trauma surgeon at JPS Health Network. Robert, thank you so much. Thank you, Scott. Doctor, good to see you as good well. The white coat, uh, something we don't want to see when we come to JPS, do we? <laughs> That's right. That's uh, right. We, uh, we uh, unfortunately see much too much uh, injury, especially from motor vehicular trauma, uh, and particularly way too much in young people, especially around this time of year. We kidded about the fact that we could talk about this for, for year after year after year, and for whatever reason, I don't know if it's just the invincibility that teenagers have. You get to that adolescent area and then you get into those teenage years in high school. You hop in a car and it's no different than sitting on your couch. And it's not that way. It's a whole different story and you just can't get it through to them. No. That's right. And especially in, in, um, uh, when it comes to multitasking, we really believe that we can multitask at any time. And actually there's very good research that our brains really aren't wired that way very well. Um, we're actually, if you think about it, we're impressed when we see somebody in the circus doing two different things at one time and we're, we're worried that they're going to drop the ball. Uh, and, and as it turns out, it is amazing that they can do that, yet we believe that we can do that when we're doing things like driving. And, and uh, sadly, the error rate that we're allowed when we're driving is zero. And, and you know, a, a, a car crash at a minimum is a terrible disruption of your life, but at worst it could be a horrible injury, death, uh, death of another person. Um, and these are horrible things to have happen to anybody. Robert, you talked about the very fact that it's about, uh, about a seven iron from here back to JPS right. to NBC5. Not that far, so you hop in the car and you're in the car for five, six minutes, and yet on the way over here this morning, you said you saw three people yeah. texting. Texting, and, and, and at that point, I wanted to roll down my window and say, you know what I'm gonna do in about yeah. 10 minutes? I'm gonna tell you to stop texting. I wanted to stop them on the highway and say, just stop texting. And I, I think communication, is not that important and having to text while you're in the car just stop it and you've got a radio going you've got a lot of cars you got a lot of traffic and then you think you should text it doesn't make any sense and and i think the biggest difficulty with it is scott is the the major cause of, of death from one to 44 is trauma and so we see um, wonderful young kids coming into jps that have a great life ahead of them that that life is either going to be altered or taken away from something that is preventable. This is not a disease. This is not something we can't predict we're going to get. This is something that you can stop. And, and we can't practice it, we can't preach it, and we can't tell it enough. All about making the good decisions, isn't it? That's right. And actually, if you think about those people texting on I-30 on the way over here, uh, texting for, uh, at, at a speed of 55 miles an hour is about equivalent to uh, driving the length of a football field with a blindfold on. That's about the equivalent. How do we change the mentality? How do we get the message out there? And you just made a lot of good, uh, you shared a lot of good stories, but you did not bring up the fact that when you're trying to watch the radio, watch the iPad, watch the, the, the iPhone, watch this, watch that, there's probably five, six kids in the back yelling and screaming and drinking milkshakes and doing this. I mean, the tr distractions in a car with a bunch of teenagers is just over the top. And now you put all these other things in here. It's, 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 it's almost a, it's a tough battle to fight. Well, you know, one of the things as a, as a level one trauma center, one of our responsibilities at JPS is to educate the community. And what we do is we go out and do demonstrations and we show them what it's like to be distracted in the car. That's the best way to do it. You don't want to just show them um, well, don't text, put that phone mm -hmm. down. You want to say, look, this is what happens. As Dr. Stevenson said, when you're distracted like that, it's an amazing short amount of time. And you think, oh, I'm just going to look real quick. All of a sudden, the car cuts in front of you. But do they think maybe, oh, that's the other guy's problem. You know, you see so many of these things happen, you say, gee, that's too bad, but I don't have that problem. Well, the funny thing is, on my way over here, if any of those people that were texting came into my lane, it's my problem, it's their problem, it's everybody's problem. And, you know, we, we talk about kids and that's the emphasis, but we talk about parents too. Everybody, stop texting. And we're not going to be able to celebrate high school and college graduation the way we want to if we're losing them to texting on the highways. Do we see our legislators and anybody else in the, in the medical profession or whatever saying, you know, we need to push them, some laws 
passed or through right now before it's too late? Or, well, it is already too late for so sure. many people. The, the, the trauma associations, the various medical associations, uh, you know, the National Traffic Safety Board, there's widespread agreement that, that things need to be done about this, but, you know, people like their freedom, and it's difficult to pass these laws. Uh, Mr. Early was in the legislature for years and had even difficulty in, that, in, in those days passing mandatory seatbelt legislation. So, so there's, always, there's an amazing amount of public pushback, and I, and I certainly hope that the uh, public will realize just how serious these things are. And, and it, you mentioned the adults. Uh, yeah, it, texting and uh, driving is actually one of the most common mm -hmm. causes for vehicular crash in people in their 30s. So this is not limited to young people alone. This is a problem that spans everybody, and everybody needs to get behind doing the right thing, putting it down themselves, and also agreeing that there should be restrictions placed on this kind of activity. I've got 20 seconds. Sure. Closing thought that you might share with the public that might be listening today? You know, the key is, is, is we're probably the only industry that wants to see less. We don't want to see these. So we're going to do everything that we can to stop it from happening, but it's a responsibility. It's the responsibility measures. Parents need to be talking to kids, grandmas, aunts, uncles. Talk to those children and say, put the phone down, because I want to make sure that you're talking when you get out of the, phone, out of the car. Don't, don't find yourself in a level one trauma center. It's what we don't want. So put the phone down, drive the car, get to where you need to go, and then text all you want when you're standing on, on the earth looking out. JPS is a good one, but it's one place you never want to be a part of. That's right. I understand. Robert, thank thanks, you so Scott. much. Appreciate Dr. It. Stevenson, thanks thank for you. all you continue to do. Very much appreciate it. Before we go, NBC5, my good friends at Nick Track, that's the North Central Texas Trauma Regional Advisory Council, and myself would like to encourage all parents watching to go to our website, NBCDFW.com. Print a copy of the Safe Driving Pledge, then ask your teenager, son or daughter, to take the pledge. To never text while driving. To reserve phone calls for emergencies only. To wear a seatbelt at all times. To be cautious and drive the legal speed limit. To be a good passenger and speak out if the driver is distracted. And last but certainly not least, make certain that your son or your daughter encourages their friends and family to drive safely every single day. Don't forget it. Safe driving starts with each and every one of us. Still lots to come on this edition of 5 Talk Street. Don't go away. We're coming right back.